In this video, I'll talk about how to complete the capacitor lab using the fit simulation. So here I have opened the capacitor lab and this is the task you have to do or in other words you have to complete this table using the fit simulation. So in this table the separation between the two plates, these two plates, you have to keep it 10 millimeter which is by default 10 millimeter. Then you have to set the plate area to 300 square millimeter. Right now it is 100 square millimeter. So I can increase this one. It doesn't need to be exact. Close is good. Try to make it as close as possible. So 300.3, that's okay. And now you have to measure the capacitance, stored energy, late charge. So if you click this part button, this will give you the, the capacitance value. The capacitance value is 0.27 picofarad. So that's what it is, 0.27. And the unit is already in picofarad. The next thing is the stored energy. So if you click here, then that gives you the stored energy. So what the stored energy is? The restored energy is zero because I have not applied any the voltage. So in order to set the voltage, then you have to, it says yet change it to 1.5 volt. So I'm doing the one and a half volt. And see, even if I'm changing the voltage, the capacitance value is not changing. So I have set the, the value to one and a half volt. And what is the value of stored energy? 0 0.30. So you come here and type in 0 0.30. And the unit is in picojoule. So I can just plug in here pico. So what I'll do, I'll just set it here picojoule. So the unit will be in picojoule. Then you have to measure the plate charge. The plate charge will be 0.4 picocoulomb. So again, Putting the pico and 0.4. And the last one is electric field value. So the electric field value, in order to measure the electric field value, just click onto the electric field detector and then you can put anywhere in between and the value is 150 voltmeter. So I'm just going to do 150 voltmeter. So this way you're going to complete all the or it's just going to fill in all the table here okay and remember i mean there are some other measurements which at the constant gap that you're changing the area here make sure that you follow the you fill in all the values here and now the next question is asking you to plot a graph of capacitance with a distance and i'm going to show you how and in this case, you have to keep the area fixed at 300 square millimeter. So this is the plot here. So I have got the area, uh, this value from this table here. So what you have to do, this is the separation and it is asking you to keep the area at 300 millimeter square. So for 300 millimeter, I'm just taking all this value and then I'm going to take this value as well, five millimeter gap and 300 millimeter square millimeter area. Once you have this data, then you just need to plot it. In order to plot the graph, just select these two columns, go to insert and go to this scattered. And then this is the plot here. You can say the different kinds of plot, whatever you like. Okay, and make sure that you level all the axes. So what this axis is, along the Y axis, this is capacitance and the unit is in picofarad. All right, and along the X axis, it is separate gap or separation and the unit is in millimeter. Okay, and you remember the for the formula for calculating the capacitance is C equals to, let me write down here, E naught 
which is epsilon naught area divided by the distance this is the permittivity e naught is the permittivity a over d so it varies the capacitance varies with the separation as 1 over r and from that graph you should be able to tell the uh, how the the equation how does it vary or you can do the best fit curve and then it will give you the equation so how do i do that click onto the graph and then go to this plus sign here and this the trend line more options and then sometimes we have limited number of data so it doesn't i mean other graphs might fit as well but uh in order to fit this graph the best is to fit the power here because i know this is the power which is the power is one over d and then display the equation on chart so this is now your equation and you can see from the equation it is x is minus 97 which is close to 1 over x so that's the reciprocal equation okay so this is how the the, the capacitance changes with this separation okay and the number 2.510 the 2.510 gives you the product of epsilon naught permittivity the permittivity value you know is 8.85 times times 10 to the negative 12 and the area in this case is 300 millimeter square 300 millimeter square so it will be 10 to the negative 6 if you multiply these two numbers together then you will get the value of this value here which we do not require but if you are interested you can definitely calculate or, or from this equation you should be able to calculate the permittivity of free space as well okay so this is how you're going to do the plot and for other graphs you have to do exactly the same thing now here I plotted the graph between the distance and the capacitance now the next graph is plot a graph between the capacitance and the surface area then you have to write down the answer how does the capacitance change with the distance how does the capacitance change with the surface area so from the graph you should be able to answer all these questions okay the, ne the next thing now you have to do is how does the capacitance change with the dielectrics so in this case what you're going to do open the lab again go to the dielectric and now the same thing exactly the same thing here you insert the the dielectric and it is start it starts with the dielectric one so you can select this all value dielectric one this is the dielectric constant one and now you have to measure the capacitance okay and again in this case you have to keep the area plate at 200 a square millimeter separation 8 millimeter okay and the voltage is one and a half volt so set all this thing one and a half volt and the plate area has to be 200 so you, you might have to adjust a little bit 200 and the separation is 8 millimeter 8 millimeter close to 8 millimeter okay and zero offset so offset is zero okay and now again measure the capacitance you know how to measure the capacitance just click it here and it gives you the value now stored energy you measure the stored energy plate charge you click on the plate charge electric field and dielectric if you just click on here it gives you the electric field value and it tells you the electric field in dielectric so this is the dielectric value you can zoom out a little bit here okay an electric field between the plates and this is the electric field between the plates which is 191 okay once you just take this measurement then you have to change the dielectric constant to one and a half and the way you do it you simply click it here one and a half and you see the things now changing and this is 
This way you can fill all the tables here. After filling all the tables, then now you have to plot the graph. Okay, so plot all the graph, answer all these questions. Here you have to answer all these questions. So this is how you complete the capacitor lab. Okay, and again, if you have any questions, do not forget to write to me. All right, thank you very much.